Greetings everyone, the Good Tonight here, and today we're going to be looking at Estac Kaiwi magazine pouches. Now, look at Estacs for a while now. These are the mids. Initially, they just had the talls, which gave you a lot of fabric to fight against, and they had the shorts, which sat too low and flopped around a belt. So now we got the mids. Mids are a good transition. They can sit lower on your belt, so you can pull mags easier, or they can sit very comfortably on a plate carrier, more so effective than your uh, talls. So, big difference between these and HSGI tacos is tacos are more multi-mission, multi-purpose, so they have a bit more give to them. So it's going to be easier to pull mags from tacos, but they're going to have somewhat less retention. But you can also swap them with AK mags, cell phones, anything you really want. So we're not saying one's better than the other, because they have their options now. Solely running M4s, well, A, SR16 specifically, I really just need 556. Five, so a dedicated mag pouch is A-OK. -okay. I'm good with that. So basically, the credit, it's a little open bottom molly. You can see the credits on the bottom there. Then you basically, the credit makes a little H shape. You stuck the mag in, it locks into place. You get a pull, and you have a magazine. Very simple, very fast, very effective. And you put it back in, and well, it doesn't really click into place, but you get the idea. So now I have access to mags as fast as often as I want, and then we have access to the fun little technique known as re-indexing. So, dude pops out around the corner, pop, 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 uh, 10 rounds, 15 rounds, we shot the guy until he stopped moving. We scrambled the egg, like 16 to the head. How many bullets do I have? Well, I don't know, but we might be going to another engagement. I really don't want it to just be three, because I don't want to go ting ting. Oh, well, it's always faster to switch to your sidearm. Remember, slopping to your sidearm is always faster than reloading, so that's the quote. So, outside of that, your Crydex in here, it does not, it has Velcro on the back, but that's it. The Velcro on the back holds it entirely in place. There's no Velcro on the front, so it's a little bit of wobbly, clink, 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 clink. But yeah, cool. If it's, if anything goes wrong with the Velcro or the Crydex, it's easy to pull out. You can get a new Crydex insert for like seven bucks. Absolutely fantastic. And the added molly means it's not as much clicky clacky if you're moving around and clacking into things, so. Nice! And as you can see here, for the mids, much like the shorts, it only connects via the lower two panel, the lower two parts of the molly. The top is still free. Gives it a bit of play, but it also gives you a lot of magazine to really get your hand on there, get a grip. So if people say, get a grip, well, this is probably what they were talking about. I don't know. So yeah, fast mags. I have a ton of magazine pouches, and these are by far the superior. I mean, as long as I'm running 5.56, five, I guess. But yeah, really cool, really fast. But yeah, as I was saying, you got maybe three rounds, two rounds. You don't know how many rounds are left in the gun, because you just literally just destroyed this guy. Well, let's say you're, you've got a, you got a ways to go before the next door. You, the dude comes around the corner, you're like... I still got ammo. I don't know how much ammo I have. We're gonna breach that door here in a second? Okay. Well, what I can do now is say, okay, well, we're gonna have to get ready, so grab a new mag, insert new mag. I have a fresh mag. I know I have at least 31 rounds. Put the old mag back here. I don't want to throw it away, because I can be throwing away 10 to 20 rounds, or five rounds, I don't know. I might need those later. So now I have more rounds to breach the room. So re-indexing is a fun little trick. It's not nearly as fast, but it gives you the option to keep your magazines. And of course, if you're completely out or you just don't have time, then yeah, just drop it, drop it, grab a new one. You can come back for it later, make it someone else's problem. Or put spray paint on the base of your mags. Something, something to differentiate it, so if you see more mags than you left, some of those might explode, so just take the ones you left. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. They're very... Simple, unique, and effective design, and honestly, my favorite. So, against tacos and these, you got options. Options is the key thing to have, but I'm gonna personally go with these. These work fantastic, and now all my old mag pouches are basically obsolete, so I don't know. We'll see how the team expansion goes and a lot of new people. But yeah, so these, they have WTF straps. If you watch my video on the different types of straps you can get, I've just, just got four of the shorter malice clips on here from Tactical Taylor. They work great. They're the older versions. You get the newer ones that are more flexible, like the WTF straps by HSGI. But really, it's mounted on here. It's good. I'm happy. Mags are happy. And we've got... Yeah, I've never showed you my mags. They've all got squids on them. Because Splatoon is a fantastic game. 
And now you know. So that's these. They're unique. They're great. I love them. And this is the second time I filmed this review, not because I'm against doing it live, but because I was super sick and like halfway during the video, I just kind of like stopped and stared out into space. It was weird. I felt terrible the whole time. My guts were rich, so it was just like, yeah. So anyway, like, comment, or die. I mean, subscribe. Subscribe is that last part. Um, English is my second language. Por que, señor? No tengo. Uh, los gatos en mi pantalones. And, uh, Sayonara!